Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Paranautical Activity. I'm Bosse, and we've got ourselves the minigun again. So we're just gonna go right into this. And here's this weird jellyfish thing that it just runs around the room and doesn't uh, actually do anything. I'm okay with that being our first room. Now let's see if I can hit it. Oh, it's trying to touch me. I think if it hits you with those tentacles, it'll hurt you. Now let's see if I can hit it. This this may be a really long. Oh oh! Almost touched me. Looks like it's got like a path. I'm not aiming well at all. There we go. Okay, so the tentacles. Oh, yep, touched me. Ouch. It's so fast. It's so fast. Yeah, it keeps knocking its tentacles out. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm, I'm trying to shoot where it's going to be, or where I think it's going to be. That's why I'm kind of... ...missing. <laughs> That's a good word for it. Completely not hitting my target. Oh! Yeah, it's got like a pathing. I can't believe we didn't get hit there. Oh my god, this is excruciating. Just get hit, man! There we go! That was complete weight. Complete weight. Didn't need help. I mean, everything's just melting in front of us now. So what do we want? We want damage upgrades, we want speed upgrades, we want health upgrades. We want armor. Gotcha. Ow! I didn't see you over there. I apologize for ignoring you. You have my full attention. Getting in the flow of this. If you guys haven't gotten this game yet, I I really, you know, I don't I don't know what to tell you. It's it's the price of a foot long subway sandwich. It's it's totally worth it. The game is great, the the creators really friendly, really helpful, great, great PR. Support this game. It's also in green light. They just got denied because they were going to have uh, Adult Swim game, which is becoming a serious game development company, which is actually really cool. I remember when they were making like that unicorn game, which kind of seems rude to call just the unicorn game. Uh, but they were going to have them back them and skip the green light process, but because they had an old green light page, they got denied their, their green light status because they didn't want to set a precedent that you could just skip being greenlit, which I think is kind of bullshit. I'm, I'm not making any kind of political statement there. Well, I, I guess I am making a political statement. I just call it bullshit. I, I'm not taking a stance other than that. It's bullshit. They know it. You know, green light knows it. I just don't, uh, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's a rough situation for everybody, I think. But mo mostly for Fort Mike Malbec and Code Abrin. Who are just, they're super nice guys. And so it's a shame that that is how this all played out. Oh, I guess that, what? No enemies in here, or was I already in here? That's possible. I have a minigun too, demon. Uh, I keep forgetting that these guys are down here. I can't believe we didn't get hit there. So what we want with the magnet would really help out because I'm lazy.
Again, I wouldn't wouldn't mind getting my hands on a shotgun. Yeah, you come down and play. All right. Definitely some damage ups would be nice. That is definitely something that we can use. Hey, demon. Like, the, all the enemies have names, I just don't know them. <laughs> and this, there's a little bit of silence, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. As much as I like the music, and, uh, I, I actually have to edit the sound quality in the video down in post. So that's why I'm, I, I kind of shout, which I apologize for. I, I need to train myself not to do that. Oh, that! I knew it. I thought we could get away before he shot, but... Uh, whoops. Alright. Well, there's a damage increase. You know what? This is great. This is really good, actually. I know the last video I made the mistake of not gra keeping my grenade launcher, but... It's actually probably the best that I didn't do that this time because this would have been even worse. I like the mini- I want to like the mini gun. But at the same time, it doesn't let me like it because it's just- it's so hard to hit these enemies. Especially- especially fast enemies. Slow enemies that don't move a whole lot. Not so hard. Alright. Just taking some shots. We're gonna get a double jump off these guys. I really like that item if we got the anchor, which would let us slow fall, fall slower, slow fall. Actually, it's, it's faster falling, not slow fall. Feather fall, D and D, cultural reference from the 1980s, probably. I doubt those people who watch know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. Let's get some more money. So we're gonna go down to the next floor looking rather good, actually. I don't particularly feel the need to go and do the rest of these floors, or these rooms on this floor. Alright. I love this gun. It's just got such a nice sound. And it, it feels good. I don't know if it, it, it conveys that very well, but the, the screen shakes and it just, it, it feels like I'm actually using a shotgun and I really like that. I'm an, I'm not an avid in, gun enthusiast as they're being called now, but I, I do like to go to the shooting range every once in a while and, uh, and fire some, some pistols and it's it definitely, uh, a shotgun is what I've usually, usually used. I don't know, just get a couple beers, have some fun with some friends, and no harm done, no. My poor tiny body doesn't really handle the shotgun all that well with the kickback because I play video games <laughs> as my main hobby, and I'm also five foot two. Ah, dang it! Those stupid tracking things. If the enemy dies, they should disappear. That, I hate that. That's one issue that I have. Yeah. I am tall, I'm tiny, and using guns is probably not something that I was ever gonna be designed for, so why I didn't go into the military. Well, that and I'm a gutless coward. And the idea of killing a human being is the most important thing in my experience that I could ever do. Well, that's not true. I would I would kill a human being before I killed like a dog or a cat. I don't know what that says about me. I'm I guess I'm a little bit misanthropic on that that scale. But this took a strange and rather dark turn all of a sudden. Talking about things I would murder. Uh, so yeah, we got pretty good money. We're just segueing out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're we're actually doing pretty good. If we fight the whale, you know that will be pretty consistent with the three other videos I've done. 
I, I, I really like this game. I'm, I'm just trying to... I can't believe we didn't get there. Oh, I see you guys. I just need to be a little more aware of my surroundings. Oh, ow. And I also have to learn how to dodge better. Lucky for us, there's plenty of health. Oh yeah, we have a double jump. What am I doing? We have a double jump. All we need to do is get our hands on the anchor, and I think we'll actually be in a fairly good spot. I mean, no, no promises, obviously. Ah, uh, this is a new room. I've never seen this room before. Or if I have, I just have never seen it from that perspective. All right, we're doing okay. What hit us? I hate you, mobs! Hate you so much. The next, the last room has a lot more health in it, so I'm gonna turn it back. This is not the room I wanted to go to, actually. Speed up would be nice. I keep getting turned around. Right, round, like a record, right, round, right, round. Um, where was all that health? Is it in here? Yeah, it was. I thought it was. Oh, yep, there we go. Well, not a lot of health, one health. So let's go to the boss trap, or actually the boss boss room. Toledo is not exactly who I wanted to fight. Although floating bombs is pretty good. They are really funny. Aha! Don't have to deal with your gravity. I can fly, motherfuckers! I got you. All right. Yeah. I see you over there waiting for me to step up close to you, Indy. Give me a damage up. Give me a damage up. My goodness. I love this fight. That doesn't look like a damage jump, does it? What is that? Boots damage. Uh oh. Well, it was a damage up. I, I got what I needed. I, well, I got what I wanted. This may be the end of my run. We have a lot of money. This is the most money I think I've ever had. Go up, come on. Yeah, take that. Oh, and the anchor, and that is, what is they call this? They call fuck that. That weapon sucks. That's, it's worse than the crossbow. We are really kind of booking it. Okay, so third floor again. We're, this is pretty consistent for me. I, I, I can get to the third floor relatively easily. Well, that sucks. Yep. I think we're going to leave it there. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.